Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, B.C., Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So this morning as I was reading in Proverbs 18, I was looking at verse 19. And as I was reading it, something jumped at me in the verse. But let's read it first. An offended brother is harder to reach than a fortified city. And the quarrels are like the bars of a fortress. And of course, offended any brother that gets offended, any friend that gets offended by something we've done or said, it's hard to have that conversation to overcome that. It, it's absolutely true. I watch people do this all the time. One stupid thing gets said, one stupid thing gets done. We know in our hearts it's because they're frustrated about something else or whatever, but it hurt. And it gave us the opportunity to push back a minute and create, well, let's be honest, some distance so we can be alone with our own junk. Because that's the excuse we needed to isolate. But there's one more piece to this that I just really jumped at me and was so, so powerful. It says, quarrels are like bars of a fortress. And as I was thinking about that, and I'm pretty sure this is not the reference that Solomon was making to his son, but I thought of bars in an open window in a fortress, right? And so you got this opening that a person could crawl through, but bars are set in the stone, vertical, so that, and they're set deep so they can't move one way or another. And they won't go up, they won't come down, they won't go in, they won't come out, they just won't move. And you can't get through them at all, right? You can imagine that thought. Everyone can. You've watched enough TV, I'm sure, to, to have seen the old movies. Why don't you think about something for a minute? Corals are like those bars. You can see through them, you can even talk through them. But you're never going to get through them. You can see through the junk. You can see through the mess. You can see through the quarrel. You can see the truth behind it. But because you set it in place and you put yourself behind it, it's going to take a lot of work to get to the other side of it. you got two choices. You can spend years trying to chip away at the stone to get the bar out. Spend years trying to cut through the steel bars. Or you can walk through the open door of the cell you locked yourself in. And say, you know what? This coral is silly. And I'm going to be the bigger person. I'm going to own my stuff. And I'm going to move forward. That's what forgiveness, repentance looks like. You can stand at that window all day long, know everything that's going on in the world around you, and never get through it because you just want to hold on to the quarrel, or you can walk the other way, walk around through the hallway and out the door. It's your choice. An offended brother is harder to reach than a fortified city, and quarrels are like the bars of a fortress. What are you doing with it today? I know more often than not, I stand there at the bars just angry as all get out because I'm locked up. I can see everything. I can even see the lies in the quarrel, but I can't get through the bars. And all I got to do is turn around because Jesus, he unlocked the door. I love y'all. Hope you have a great day. God bless.